All right, so if you haven't yet figured it out, last thing I gotta do right now is get my roof rack set up. We just started the summer a couple weeks ago and we're getting back into the diving and all that stuff. So I need to have the roof rack set up so that I can bring the boards to and from the beach. I have an inflatable kayak I wanna use. And just in general, when we're going out, I need to have this rack set up again. So I'm putting it on the wagon now, let's bang it out. This one when I took the roof rack off, this end snapped, and these are all the pieces that hold the basket on. So I went and brought, I bought new threaded rod yesterday, and I'm gonna have to remold this piece. And if you were wondering why I had this nut on here, it's so that when I take the nut off, it'll spin the threads back into position because after I did that, it totally crushed them. So this is what we started with right here. See if you can see that, yeah. And this is the new one. You can see right where I broke it when I took my roof rack off, right here. This is what I had to replace. Please fit. This is what it's supposed to look like when it's actually on the car. Oh my gosh, yes. Look at that, it looks like new. That's literally perfect. So there it is. That's it for the roof rack install on the wagon. That footage was filmed two years ago. I've been using this roof rack for two years. It's literally got paint fading off the aluminum from use. So I will probably have to put out a roof rack restoration video. I have a ton of footage that I filmed like literally two years ago back in 2018 when I was kind of more doing the things that this car needed to have done. So I did suspension on it. I did the whole front end. I've done a number of things in the engine bay. Um, I just recently did some stuff too. So I'm gonna stitch some of those videos together very slowly. I wanna get all the wagon content out to bring it up to date to where it is right now, which is a very functional, very reliable daily. And it's what I've needed for the past two years, but now I wanna have a little bit more fun. So I've been looking around this channel right here for starters. This channel is like a personal channel. If you guys know, I have one other channel. It's called Middle Class Mayhem. It's literally like the other half of my life, which is diving, surfing, and a lot of things to do with the ocean, a little bit of skateboarding, um, and like traveling and stuff like that. So I don't want to mix car content with those type of things because I feel like they're so different. And if I'm going to do a channel for cars, I want to do a channel for cars. So all that to say, this channel, it's for cars. I'm trying to pick up a Nissan 240SX. I've been hunting around on OfferUp. And I went and looked at one the other day. It's not running, it has no keys, it needs a lot of work, but I really wanna pick up a build, like a designated build. I have my OBS Ford, it's my work truck, it's not worth putting the money in. This is my daily, I have to have a daily because I'm in school still. So I'm trying to scoop this 240. If it happens, you'll see it on this channel, and then I will start a formal build process of actually filming and laying out a build plan and doing everything that I really wanna do with a car, you know, shave the engine bay, I want to slam car again, I want to do fitment, I want to potentially do a motor swap or build a motor 
either or Nissan's the S13s come with a KA24 um, so you know turbo it whatever but all that's for future videos thank you guys for watching I've been talking for too long see you guys later